was half expecting you a year ago. After a while, I just assumed you got what you wanted. Milk? Sugar? Where's your partner? Uh, retired. Huh. Michaela, what do you do? What do you mean? For work? I work for an organization that helps women who've been victims of abuse. Spousal? In most cases, yes. I help them recover from the traumas and rebuild their lives. So, like a therapist? In a way. Kind of. Have any of these women tried talking to the police? Some have. What are their names? Oh, sorry, that's confidential. Some of these abusers are in positions of power and authority, so to ensure the absolute safety of these women, we don't release any of their information. Why do you ask? So, how can I help you this time, Detective? I was hoping we could pick up where we last left off, if you don't mind. Where was that exactly? We were chatting about your parents and your former classmate. Mm -hmm. You challenged both my memory and my information. I apologize, but uh, I think we can both agree that you were being entirely truthful. Is that so? You had a bit of a selective memory. Well, you never answered my question. Why are you protecting him? Is it because he's your father, or are you trying to protect yourself? You're a no bullshit kind of woman. I can't say I like you, but I admire that. I'm not protecting my father, nor do I ever plan to. Then why not tell the truth? Look, I don't have time for the little interrogation tactics, detective. Yeah, I'm running out of patience too. Then why don't you just tell me why you're here? Fine. In the fall of 98, your mother vanishes in the middle of the night. You told us that your father disappeared that exact same night. Now, he could have gone looking for her, but the odd thing is he never filed a missing persons report. And? Well, you said that you thought he killed her. Why is that? And then 10 years later, your classmate, Dennis, is found murdered. He was found with stab wounds all over his neck, face, and groin. Now, I don't know if you've watched the news recently, but in the past five years, there have been seven murders in the exact same way. The most recent being a double homicide just last night. Now do you understand? You think my father killed these people? I wouldn't be here if I didn't. Look, my father may be a horrible man. Yeah, but he a murderer? Look, maybe you're afraid of him. Maybe you're afraid of what you think he's capable of. Maybe you're afraid of being held responsible for not stopping him sooner, I don't know. Michaela? I really need you to tell me exactly what happened that night. All of it. For God's not given me a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love and of power and a sound mind to live each day to... Michaela? Michaela, what are you doing under there? <laughs> Why are you not in bed? Aw, oh, sweetie. I got... <sighs> My sweet girl, I will always love you. After tonight, my beautiful little girl, we will be together forever. They told me this.
Let's get you in bed. Pray the Lord my soul to keep. And if you die before I wake, I pray the Lord. Wake up! Wake up! Michaela! Michaela, you answer me when I call you, girl. There you are. Get out here. Come on. Put your coat on. I think he killed him, too. Are you sure about this? He left that afternoon and returned the next morning. A few days later, when Dennis didn't show up to school, the rumors started. And I just knew. Was there any blood on his shirt? Was he trying to clean it off when he got home? Anything? No. He just went to bed. When was the last time you saw him? After he returned, I went for a walk, and then when I came back, he was gone. So were his vehicles. How did he take off with two vehicles? I'm not sure. I just came back and they were gone. I hadn't seen him since. A few days later, the sheriff showed up looking for him, and didn't say why. 
See what kind of cars he drove? I honestly couldn't tell you. I, I'm not a car person. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Were they newer, older, the color, the look? Uh, well, he drove this big white truck ever since I was a kid. And then uh, he had a, an old run down blue, bluish green car. I think it was his father's. Uh, he never used it though. Is there anything else you can remember? He used to disappear into the woods beside our house for hours. I never knew what he did out there. That's everything, I swear. Okay. Well, if you remember anything else, even if you think it's useless, don't hesitate to contact me.